Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video today we will be painting a beautiful landscape and I will be using this Clairefontaine watercolor paper it is 300 GSM or 140 pounds 100% cotton 18 by 24 centimeters or 7 by 9 and a half inches and also cold press watercolor paper next to that I will be using these watercolors from my set this is a cozy set and now a new thing so those are the colors in the set I will be using them today and also I will be using this larger flat brush first to prevent the entire paper because we do need our paper to be wet for this painting we will be starting with the background with uh, under painting so we do need to prevent our entire paper first I'm picking up this beautiful warm yellow and just adding it on the bottom of my paper and just beneath I will be adding some coffee brown unfortunately my camera did stop so I did add a little bit of that coffee brown in the lower part and also this wow pink a beautiful pink color on the sides in the middle part I also added a little bit of blue rich cold rich blue and just adding the colors I do want my sky to be a little bit of the violet color and with some pink with some bluish color and on the side make it look like there are some trees so I'm adding it a little bit of that wow pink mixed in with just a touch of blue to paint in those uh, trees and after that dry completely I'm gonna use this uh, masking marker and I just wanted to show you how I always want to use a masking marker especially this one this one is a very very thin tip and it's a plastic tip and if you don't clean it it's just clogs so I always remove it when I finish with my masking fluid I remove it from the from that little pen and uh, clean it wash it and then clean it so first now you can see I'm just pressing to make that uh, fluid go into my tip and just adding in a very very small thin lines those lines are now I'm sorry barely visible because they are quite thin but you can see just some of those lines and later on when we will be adding the second layer you will be able to see them better and I did do the underpainting because now that I'm when I remove my masking fluid the paint is going to be yellowish and brownish underneath it's not going to be completely white and I do not want my stems and my grass to look completely white so that's the reason why I've added first the underpainting the background layer and then on top added the masking fluid now I have cleaned the masking fluid under the running water and you can see how the tip is completely clean right now and just with this needle I'm just uh, trying to get out the residue some leftovers of that masking fluid that has already hardened so I do remove that and with that uh, my tip is clean I store it in a special uh, little jar and don't keep it together in my pen now that this this all is dry I'm just adding a little bit more of the yellow at the same place that I did earlier and you can see my strokes they are just mimicking some grasses I'm not painting one straight line wash but I'm just painting those line going upwards in a horizontal in a vertical line so just adding a little bit of the grass looking shapes and also I will be adding I've added a little bit of that brownish color prevented the upper part of the paper because I don't want any harsh lines in the upper part where the sky is I do want all those lines to be very very soft and transitions to be very very soft because I want it to look like it is further away maybe there is some mist there or it's just blurred from the camera so it is a little bit further away I've added a little bit of the black my favorite black to wow pink and just adding them to those uh, trees making it look like there are also some branches there sticking some bushes or branches a little bit of the splatters with that beautiful pink color and also I've added a few splatters in the lower part where the yellows are and that slightly brown color now picking up again coffee brown and I will be adding it at the same place that I did add it for the previous layer in the lower part of my painting 
and I will also leave the yellow part still yellow. I do want it to be very vibrant. I do want it to just give that beautiful warmth to my painting. So I won't go over it with my browns. I'm just going to leave it there slightly glowing beneath the, the behind my browns. And now I added also a little bit of the black to the coffee brown just to get the darkest uh, shadows, just to get the, those darkest values in my painting and painting them on the corners just to add that impression that in the middle there is some glow and on the sides it is a little bit darker. And also now picked up a slightly smaller brush to do a little bit more visible lines and also add a little bit more pigment. My brush that I was using, Raphael Zero, is a brush that can hold a lot of water and this time I did want it to have a little bit less water, a little bit more pigment in my brush, so I'm using this smaller brush adding some shapes of some maybe flowers, but those full flowers that are almost dry and just adding in those and with black adding in some stems, mix of brown and black. And this time I'm using this Lebanon brush. This is, I do love this brush for adding some lines, stems, because it has very, very nice pointy tip. And there is also one more awesome thing I wanted to share with you. Lebanon got, uh, gave us, you know, because they're ho their holidays now here and all that. So he is offering again 20% discount. Just use my code Renata and well, you will get a 20% discount. So again, very, very nice thing. Thank you, Tracy. And well, this is your opportunity to get that brush in a very, very, very affordable and nice price. And I will link the Levens and Paintbrushes store down website down in the description description box. So if you want to go and check it out, you can go ahead and check it out. I will also give a link for this specific brush if I don't forget that, because many of you have been asking me about this specific brush. So I'll do my best not to forget that. A little bit more of the splatters with mix of brown coffee brown and favorite black and a little bit also wow pink in it and adding just a few splatters I left it to dry completely it has to be completely dry before removing that masking fluid because if you do this while the paint is still wet you will just smear it all over and when I removed my masking fluid I'm just adding on top a little bit more of those stems because I don't want um, those white, uh, those light, very, very light stems to stick out of my paper. I do want to make it look like it is uh, somewhere in between those darker and lighter stems. So I'm just, I just added on top a little bit more of the stems, a little bit more of the splatters with that brown, pink, and now a little bit more splatters with white. And we are done. This is finished completely super fun super simple and i do think this is a very nice weekend project so i hope you guys like it if you do like it please hit the like button and share it comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me maybe consider joining my channel that would also be awesome and guys thank you so much and i hope i'll see you next time bye